Hi guys, Aceface here, um, and first of all apologies for the poor quality of this video, but I am just doing it on my phone um, because I wanted to get this out to you as quick as possible because this is game changing. So this is very much a tactical video, um, and it's also a kind of unboxing or review of the new um, Tyranid data slate, which is this one here. Um, now, it is really, really impressive. So what I want to do is just have a little look at particularly the formations I'm not going to look at all the all the fluff and all the bits which is decent but actually let's get to the good stuff because there's a couple of things on here that are going to make a huge difference so what you get is you get um, four formations this cap one two three four five so you get five formations now let's just quickly review each one of them so what we've got is we've got this one here um, and this is your Turvigan type uh, formation it will basically allow you to um, re-roll ones when you're roll, roll into spawn it means you need to take two extra Turvigans as well as your normal sort of one that you take with a, with a Turvigan so um, that's I mean, it's okay. It's not fantastic. Um, but if you want to run a really Turvigan heavy list, then obviously this is the one you go for. Moving quickly on, we've got a Warrior Type 1, which is a real disappointment because I was hoping that a Warrior 1 would be so much better. Um, but it is, it, it's fairly basic. It just gives your Warriors a bigger synapse range, um, 18 inches. So, um, quite cool. It consists of uh, a Prime and three Warrior Broods. So, not bad. Now we're gonna go back to this one, uh, and we'll go back to this one. Then we, we've got endless swarm. Now endless swarm. If you're a swarm player, um, that's that's pretty damn good. Um, you've got to take quite a lot of troops, um, but you know, um, so you've got to take three hormigants, a broods, three termigants, and a uh, tyranid um, uh, warrior brood. But um, the good thing about it is, obviously, with Endless Swarm, if they if they kill a unit, then you've got a 50-50 chance of that unit popping straight back up again. So that's pretty cool. So for Swarm players, it's a really good one, you know, especially if, we, you, if you use it in conjunction with the Trigons tunneling. So potentially you could have people right back up where you need them very, very quickly. So um, it could be fun. Um, if you're a swarm player, I'm not particularly. I think it really could be could be a strong formation. Problem with formations is they not don't allow you to score. So um, you know it's uh, it, 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 it it sort of it, it could it could be it could be good. Um, right. So let's go on to these these two ones. So this one is your answer to an awesome awesome heavy shooty type tyranid list because this one will allow you to get extra heavies so you can take an exocrine three biovores and a unit of tyranid warriors on top of obviously your normal um, force orb uh, because it's a formation which means that potentially you could have four exocrines or it gives you that option to sort of um, make the most of all your decent heavies because we've got so many um, and it also there's like a a, a rule where it'll allow you to kind of re-roll your scatters on um, uh, sort of template or blast stuff. So so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, so that that that's decent. Um, I think that'll be a lot of fun to play. I'm definitely going to be using that one. But let's not waste any more time. Let's get on to the game changer. So sky blight swarm. Now let's have a little look what you have to bring. For this formation you have to bring a Hive Tyrant, and he's got to have wings, a Hive Crone, two Harpies, and three Gargoyle Broods. So that's quite a lot, that takes up a lot of your points, but let's look at the craziness, the absolute craziness, because that is this little rule here. This little rule here, objective secured, this rule here is the game changer. This will make all of your gargoyles scoring. That Yeah, that's right, scoring. But better than that, not only does it make them scoring, if an enemy unit is actually on that objective as well, they can't contest it. That's right, so while that gargoyle is near the objective, you've got that objective. 
How powerful is that? It is the most powerful thing that we've seen at Tyranids so far. I can guarantee you that. Because those gargoyles, big units of gargoyles, are going to be near enough unbudgeable, which means you can guarantee that you will be getting those objectives as long as you can keep them in synapse. That is crazy. I just can't, just, just think about that guys, please put your comments down below, because it is amazing, um, yeah, I just, I mean, this is the game changer, you've heard it here first, this is the game changer, right, okay, and obviously, the great thing about it is it does now allow us to have free fly rents in one list, amazing, so I've come up with a really quick, unbelievable, amazing 1500 point competition winning list and I'm going to just read it out to you basically or I'll try and remember what I've written down so what you take is in your normal force org you take two flyrants both with twin link devourers wings bare bones two units of termagants just because you got to. that is your force org then you take this formation so you take one flyrant you take that flyrant again with wings and twin link devourers you take one crone absolutely bare bones you take two harpies one of those harpies you give them the the um venom cannon the other you give them the strangle form just so you've got the uh, uh, opportunity to shoot heavily armored targets with that with that uh, the harpy um, and one for troops then you take three gargoyle broods you have to take one with 20 you take one with 15, and you take one with 14. Now, I'd like to take more, but because I'm going for 1,500 points, that's all you can get. And in that, so you have got then six flying monstrous creatures. Six. And you've got th three tyrants in amongst that. And then you've got three big units of scoring gargoyles that can come back on a 4+. plus. That's right. I didn't even tell you that. These gargoyles, when they're killed on a 4+, plus, they come back to life. Jesus. Wow. You know, it's all absolutely awesome. The Termagants, I wish I could have flying things, but you've got to have the Termagants. But, you know, you never know. They, they might pass their, their instinctive behaviour. If they don't, who cares? But, wow, that is amazing. So, anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, it's very, very, very brief. You know, it's... Uh, it, I will do more stuff, better quality, and this is the worst quality video I've probably ever done, so apologies, but um, I hope you're excited as I am, and I hope this has been a good little review for you, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye now.